But what do you what do you attribute to um, to the women's NCAA uh, tournament or, or women's basketball really exploding versus over the past few years? You know, it hasn't been as visible. Even though you know the women been hooping, women the internet been hooping. The internet. Mm. That's why I get so mad when um, again they gonna torch me for this. God bless. <laughs> I get so mad when Angel and Caitlin are like, we're building women's basketball. I'm just happy I got to do it. Girl, the internet. <laughs> oh! uh, like, no, it's just a sign of the times, mm. right? Like Instagram came out my freshman year of college mm. and we weren't using it. Nah, you know what I mean? Nah. Like, it wasn't what it was. Twitter was, Twitter was the vibe. And then you yeah. got to think about even, like, even when we go to recruiting high school players, I was a top 10 player in the country. I, did, I had one highlight tape of me and five other people. Remember, you know, we had, we had Hoop Girls, we had ESPN. It was paragraphs about players. Mm -hmm. You used to get to the tournament and be like, oh, that's so-and-so? Yeah, yeah, You yeah, didn't yeah. know what these people look like. You would hear, used to hear Ricky Johnson be like, oh, crazy. That's, I read about you, bro. Like. <laughs> That's what it was. It wasn't, you didn't have videos. We didn't That's have, right. like, so a lot of this is literally the fact that TikTok exists, Instagram, t like, we didn't have social media at our disposal the way they do now. Mm -hmm. Even now, you're looking at, um, at before, every w, before every NCAA women's game, they say, for the fourth year in a row, every NCAA women's game is on an ESPN channel. The fourth year. I've been out of college for almost 10 years. And I played at a, a power five school. Yeah. So you're telling me that only when we got to the Elite Eight, to the Sweet 16, were our games on ESPN channels? So it isn't, and I'm not knocking anything about them, that good for them. I love that they become stars. Mm -hmm. I love that for them. But I'm saying, like, it isn't that they're that different. Mm. It's that we see them, we can follow them, we can tap in with them. I tell people all the time, we don't buy the what, we buy the who and the why. Mm -hmm. And with women's sports specifically, we never know the who and the why. Like, you're not selling women's basketball, bro. Like, women's basketball's not that great. Like, no. I don't come to the game because I love watching women's basketball. I come to the game because I know so-and-so. Because Diana Taurasi finna act the fool. She finna score from whatever, right? Like, I come to the game because, I, oh my God, like, Imani went to Texas. I remember her playing in Texas when I was there. Or, oh my God, my Morris from Georgia. Like, I'm from Georgia too. Those are the, you know, like you buy the stories. Like for sure. people don't watch 90, it's a 90 something games for the NBA before playoffs, bro. You telling me people like basketball that much that they're watching 90 games, dog? 90? Hell no. That's a lot of games. <laughs> no, they just understand. We, we know the 16 players on the bench favorite color. We know their entire life story. So yeah, like I'm watching it because I love Aisha and those babies. So I'm gonna go watch Steph play, right? Like, oh my God, LeBron's from Akron. I, wow, I remember growing up and watching him play in high school. Like we know the story, so that's why we tune in, right? Like that is what it is. It isn't the fact that people love basketball. Like yeah, they probably have like a crazy fan that really just loves basketball that much. But in reality, the NBA has a casual fan. And how do you get casual fans? By telling stories. So that's what's been happening in the in women's NCAA. We, we've been telling stories. Mm. We watch these kids and we know where they're from. And oh my God, I saw her in high school. And oh my, like that's what it's been. And it's been the fact that we can actually do that now. Like I've been saying for years, women's basketball fans are like the most dedicated people ever because they got to go on a scavenger hunt to follow people. Oh. They got to do the most. You can't escape the NBA. Yeah, that's true. Like you can't escape those things. That's for sure. And so I, I think that's where we're getting to women's basketball now, where these kids are on shade room. Like, you know, like they, they, all over. So they now all become over. like, you know, like a phenomena where we really want to know and watch and play. Like, so that's what it's become. But that's the difference is the internet, man. I wish I knew how to use TikTok. 